All right, welcome back. Uh, let's let's continue on our journey. I guess let's head to the the west. Oh, that looks like a desert. Maybe down here. No, you know, I said I was gonna go west. Let's go west. Why not? I mean, maybe we can go pick that cactus or something. Look, cactus. It is a handsome example of the species, but not one you'd care to handle. Look at those thorns. Take thorns. What's a thorns? Take thorn. Take <laughs> cactus. All the cactus around here are too prickly to be touched. You could wind up with a handful of thorns. Okay. The most hideous looking being has made its appearance. It's Medusa! <laughs> what? Your eyes fall upon. What? Your eyes fall upon a face so hideous, so gruesome, that the horror of it is beyond description. People who look upon the face of Medusa with her hair of writhing live snakes turn instantly to stone. Suddenly, your body feels cold, and it stiffens hard as a rock. You make a nice statue, Gwydion. Well, <laughs> not even two minutes. Okay. Let's restore. Uh, inventory. Don't we have, we have a mirror. I bet that's that, but that was so fast, though. Okay. All right, Medusa, I know your game. Show mirror. Oh, what? These two are certainly unsavory rogues. They look like they'd rob you blind. No, 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 no. After recovering from a whack on the head at the hands of the bandits, you stand unsteadily, taking stock of your holdings. You discover that all of your possessions have been stolen? Uh, oh, this is how it's going to be today. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's just going to be one of those days. Anybody here? Anybody here? No? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna save it right here. Actually no, I'm gonna I'm gonna save save two right here. In case I'm not fast enough. See some lizards. Oh. Since you're dead, all you can redo do is restore a saved game or start over. Well. Maybe if I turn away. The most hideous looking being has made its appearance. It's Medusa. The mirror is set in a round oak frame with a long handle to peer into it and see a rather dirty but handsome face. Oh no. Oh no, Medusa's touch is like ice. A cold chill shivers down your spine, turning uh, turning to a stiffness that soon hardens your body like a rock. You are now nothing but a statue. Okay. That must be it. Like, I just gotta be faster? Show mirror to Medusa, maybe. Wait 
for it. Wait for it. Ha! Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Averting your eyes, you aim the wizard's hand mirror at Medusa's face. A scream pierces the air as she beholds her own hideous reflection. Then, nothing. You dare to look. Medusa has turned herself to stone. Oh. Okay. Well. Even as a statue, Medusa is incredibly ugly. I did not see that coming. I mean, good lord. What do we got over here? Look, bones. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, well, look. You notice something unusual. A little cactus beside the large rock. Okay. Maybe that large rock is important. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Lizards. They're just lizards scurrying across the desert floor. Oh, what's this? Look. Bush. The shrubbery is nice, but you have better things to do. Okay. If you've seen one rock, you've seen them all. Push rock. How can you do that? Okay, well. <laughs> Are these rocks over here? Because it kind of caught my eye. Around. The hot, dry sands of the desert reach seemingly forever to the west. It is a parched land. There's a tiny cactus. You notice an unusual little cactus. Oh, a little cact take cactus. Look, cactus. The greenish gray cactus is small, plump, and fleshy. Okay. So we can take the little tiny cactus. I should have looked at the big rock, though. Look, rock. Uh, time's starting to run out. You've seen one rock, you've seen them all. Okay. Walking through the desert, doo -doo 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 -doo. the greatest adventure is what lies ahead. I'm just gonna say this for every one of these games. That's back at Medusa, I think. Yeah, well, yeah. What's uh what's this little thing? Is that a cactus? Mm. 
What about this one? It's got these little red dots on it. This is just gonna keep pulling up the yeah, low ground. Okay. Hmm. Boy, that sure does get flat, doesn't it? Cow skull. This is a different design choice for this section of the desert. Oh. Look, skeleton. Look, ground. The hot ground, parched and dry. Okay. So, well, let me look at these because I've got stuff in the item in, in, or in my inventory. Tell me your tale, game. Spin me a yarn. I am feeling very lost, I have to say. Okay, so that's just going to loop. We press on. Wait, that was only like one. I thought it was only one to the west. Oh. It is two to the west. <clears throat> oh, apparently I'm just lost in a desert now. Oh, geez. You are getting very hot and tired. You'd better find your way out of the desert soon. Oh, King's Quest, you and your classic getting lost in a desert things. There's a desert in this one, there's a desert in number five, and there's a desert in number seven. I, I know. Oh, jeez. Snick. Oh, he's gone. That's interesting. So the reason this changes... Whoop. Any experienced traveler knows better than to mess with snakes. Well, I don't want to mess with it, but I need to get past it somehow. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is not going... Oh! You can't take the relentless sun anymore and collapse from heat stroke. Miserably, you die in this dreadful desert. Well, dang. Okay. Okay, so let's... Guess let's restore this. Let's go down here. Oh, wait, no, shoot, that was my tiny cactus. Well, maybe I can look on this cactus. Is there anything on this cactus? You notice an unusual little cactus beside that large rock. Okay, now that's just all it's going to tell me. So, sure, let's go get, let's go get our unusual little cactus.
And now let's let's head down this way. I feel like, I mean, there's got to be something. There's so many of these screens. I'm not going to the west again, I can tell you that. <clears throat> I am certainly not going to the west again. Uh, look, cactus. Oh, gosh. Look. Area. It's just as it appears. Look, bush. The shrubbery is nice, but you have better things to do. Look, flowers? Oh, the flora in this hot, dry desert is scant. The only plants that grow are cactus, thorny shrubs, and an occasional stunted tree. Look, tree. Trees are practically non-existent in this dry desert. The few trees that do survive are stunted and dry-looking. Okay. Hey, what's this? Parts and... Is it a stick? Parts and... I, what is this? Oh, is it just is it just the ground? No, I keep getting I keep getting hung on it. This is something. Take snake. You retrieve the dried snake skin from the hot desert sand. It is delicate and could easily crumble. Wait, what? That what? I just thought it was a dead snake. Uh, look, snake skin. The dry, thin snake skin is extremely fragile. Okay. Well, don't really know what to do now. Squirrels! Look. Squirrel. You see two squirrels chattering to each other. Oh. That's nice. Hey, look, eagle friend. Hello, eagle friend. Goodbye, eagle friend. What am I stuck on? Stuck on. I'm stuck on. Oh wait, hold on. Look, stump. What's a stump? Really? Man, so I guess. Look, tree stump. Look, tree stump. Nope. You know what? This game, oh man, this game's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. <laughs> oh no! Okay. <sighs> this 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 episode's not going very well. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is not going very well at all. Yeah, I can see why this is considered to be the hardest one of, at the time because it's like like it like it like it but like back at the Oh, ground. There's nothing of interest here, just some acorns scattered at this old oak tree. Look, acorn. Acorns surround the old oak tree and crunch under your steps. Take acorn. You pick up and poke among the fallen acorns looking for dried ones. You don't find any. These are all newly fallen. Okay. I guess I won't take one then. Yeah, so this game, like, this is oddly specific. 
Like everything so far just seems so so oddly specific. I guess I should start heading back up to the house. Case old Maninin. Case old Magilla Gorilla. You know, Manila Gorilla. Manila, 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 Magilla. I am, I can't even speak. I can't even speak. This game has done me in. Hello, Eagle friend. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and save. Because I don't trust this mountain path. I, mean, I should probably go that way, but... Well, I got like 10 more minutes. Sure. Why not? If it proves to be unfruitful, we'll just, you know, reload. Hello. Nice pretty river. Uh oh shoot. Wait, what was the time on these? Uh oh. Wait, which one did I just oh, I saved on this one. So I'll save over save one now. Look, river. Clear water flows over and around the rocks of the stream. Wet mud lies in its banks. Look, mud. See nothing special. Take mud. It mentioned it. With, with the wooden spoon, you kneel and scoop a spoonful of wet mud from the stream's bank. You carry it with you. Oh, oh my gosh. He's learned how to walk into a small puddle of water. Uh, Graham's got nothing on this kid. Yo, what about this Kate? Oh. Oh, I don't know if I trust this. I don't know if I trust this. Look, web. It's the largest web you've ever seen. You can't help but wonder about the spider which could create such a web. As you touch the sticky web, a giant spider drops down from her lair in the tree above. You attempt to escape, but her sticky web holds you fast. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Alright, that is just pure horror. is horrifying. No, thank you. I don't know. I think I gotta get the mud again. Look, river. Take mud. Alright, so that's the spider cave. Or a spider web or something. Here's a shore of some kind. I gotta get the lay of the land somehow. More shore. Cliffs. Hey, what's that? It must be the town that um he was spying on. Hey, we got a store and a tavern and an anchor. The old rusted anchor is much too heavy to move. It's just a door. It opens and closes. Open the door. A dog? Look, 
Good day to you, young man, greets the storekeeper. What can I do for you? Look, dog. The dog laying on the floor is obviously a mutt. The name Kenny is embossed on his leather collar. Pet Kenny. You need to be closer. I will get closer. Oh, look at Kenny. He's awesome. Pet Kenny. As you pet him, Kenny licks your hand and thumps his tail in appreciation. A small wad of dog fur collects in your hand, and you tuck it into your pocket for later use. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. Way to go, Kenny. You're a real G. Let's go save. Save this. Um, let's see. Uh, talk man. The storekeeper asks, now what can I do for you? Um, what do you have? Okay, um, buy stuff. Um, get money. <laughs> this is a business, not a charity. You have to buy the things you want. <laughs> Look, store. The store is full of general merchandise and supplies to meet the needs of the village. A friendly storekeeper hustles, I'm sorry, uh, bustles, bit. I'm sorry, a, fr ugh. a friendly storekeeper bustles busily behind the counter. Okay. Let's go to the tavern. One of the surly-looking characters yells to the barmaid, Wench! Come over here with more ale. Damn. Damn. Talk lady. What's a late? What's a lady? Talk woman. Keep your shirts on, you ornery buzzards, the barmaid yells. I'll be there quick enough. Without taking her eyes off the two men, she says, I'll be happy to take your order, but be quick about it, because those two are keeping me hopping. Um, order food? Okay. Talk man. One of the ugly rogues scowls at you and he says, Beat it, kid. Stab, man. <laughs> Surely you jest. I wasn't really. Uh, but I guess we're going to go ahead and call it here. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to leave Gwydion staring at a beautiful sight. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>